my name is Casey. I've always wanted to start a YouTube makeup channel, so today's the day. I thought I would give it a go. If that sounds interesting to you, please stay, hang out, and see what you think. I'm just here to have a good time, and I just enjoy makeup, and I would love to meet people who also enjoy makeup, make some friends. Um, I don't have a background in cosmetology or makeup, applying makeup. I just enjoy doing makeup. So if you're someone who is looking for someone else who likes to do their makeup and try new makeup, use what they have, all the things about makeup, you know, I love indie brands. I love Sephora. I love Ulta. I love it all. So if that sounds good to you, just stick around and I'm going to start getting ready. All right, I've already prepped and primed my face and I actually tried to prime my eyes with the e.l.f. No Budge cream eyeshadow in white because I'm I'm trying to find a white based um, eyeshadow primer kind of like the P. Louise the cosmetic paints um, they dry down completely unlike the cosmetic base I have the white in the cosmetic base in the P. Louise but I'm 35 and I can tell my texture in the skin of my eyelids are getting more and more oily so I'm trying to find a white base that helps with the creasing I have the MAC paint pot in painterly but it's not white so when I do my eyeshadow I like some days I like to have you know pal eyeshadow and on days like that, you just, you, you need a white base. So, I'm going to try the, this is the matte fluid eye paint in about face. So, um, just a little, and if me not looking into the camera is bothering you, I apologize. I have never done, you know, a YouTube video and. I don't know how they look into the camera and do their makeup, honestly. Like, oh, this is working much better than the e.l.f. It's not as thick. And the e.l.f. one almost immediately was... Looks like it, it was like peeling. Let me see. It looks good in real life, too. So, I like this. I hope it helps my eyeshadow last. I try not to blend with my mouth open. <laughs> and if the sound of my voice drives you crazy, I'm sorry. Um, that was one of my reservations was my definitely my accent when I was thinking about why I didn't want to start a YouTube channel um, I definitely thought about my accent and even you know you just don't talk this much to yourself at home and just sitting here listening to myself and I feel like I've already said um like a hundred times is driving me insane. So, sorry. Um, uh, let's see. This looks this looks decent. For some reason, my left eyelid is flakier than my right. So, you know how that is. I guess I'm going to pull out the charmer palette. Isn't she pretty? Uh, this is the Unearthly um, Mystery Box. The Valentine's Day Mystery Box. And when I saw... I was actually lucky enough to be on Instagram when the owner... I don't 
you know, don't, I don't know these people, but I saw where she went live. And um, when she showed these colors, my jaw just dropped. I was like, that is so gorgeous. So here is... I don't know how they show the palettes like bending back the mirror. I don't want to break my palette, but there she is. Is she not beautiful? Man, I, I would say my favorite eyeshadow colors is definitely pink, purple, blue, red. I feel like the majority of YouTubers love green, which I like green. I like it. I like it all, you know, but I'm not as crazy about green as I am pink and blue and purple. So, how I normally like to do my makeup, I love wearing these little shields because I'm terrible at placement and eyeliner. So, if you have a hard time having a steady hand like I do, these are on Amazon. You can, I mean, it's like a pack of 500. And I cut them in half and I stick them on my face. My mm. Well, here I am talking about green and I'm sitting here staring at this um, kind of green shade. But I would say it's more teal down here. Thinking it's looking gorgeous. I'm going to start with Sweet Talk. Sweet Talk is this really pretty pinkish purple shade. Wow, this is really hard to do. In a camera. So I'm sorry I have to use this mirror, but until I get used to this, probably going to see me in the mirror a lot. I'm not trying to act like I know what I'm doing, so just forgive me. And if you don't want to watch, I, I understand. I, I, I'm again trying to blend with my mouth shut. good and I'm the type of person you know I don't care to pull in other palettes like if a palette has got a crazy color story and I'm like I need a brown I need a white I'll just go grab a brown and a white I don't care like I like seeing palettes that inspire my creative you know process I love this is not even. I love seeing the different colors and the different choices that the brands make and put together. But uh, some things about me I am a mom. And if you're a mom, you know how great it is to be a mom. Um, but also how <laughs> you realize it is important to do things that you enjoy because you want your kid to see that. You want your kid to see you also as someone who has hopes and dreams and, you know, aspirations. And there, are, you know, your parents are also human and all right that is so pretty okay I'm grab another brush I've just rearranged my makeup room so not disturb my husband because my makeup room is kind of off from my bedroom and I was hoping to be able to film while he's resting or something and the lights won't be like facing him while he's in the bed so I mean, my, one of my eyelids is actually more hooded than the other, so it's hard to even up, like, the placement 
of my eyeshadows to look even when I look at you straight on because my right eye is um, more droopy than my left and I'm pretty sure it's a familiar little trait <laughs> all right and then next I think I am going to go into the teal color trickery and just kind of deepen the outside just a smidge I also <laughs> just a smidge this is very pigmented I have a lot of um, like special shades like singles from Cleona and Terra Moons and definitely something I would love to make videos with um, and do like get readies with me with because I love special shades, special eyeshadow shades. They're so fun to me. But um, if you're watching this video and made it this far, please just, you know, tell me about yourself. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I got a phone call. But I, all I did was I, I blended the top, um, the top out with this Menagerie palette with this Bear Hugs pink color, whitish color, and just put a little bit more of the purple on top and blended it. So now I'm going to start putting on the shimmers, which is the fun part. So, you know, like most people... I use the, um, like a glitter primer and I have the Unearthly um, Glimmer Grasp. Can't believe I said that right. <laughs> so I just take a little smidge in and I try not to put it like on my hood because I feel like it just makes it stick. Okay. I'm sorry I have to keep using my mirror but um okay I can put it right here you can still see my eyebrows out of focus okay but I'm in focus now I'll try to okay just kind of dab my glimmer grasp right through here and try to keep my mouth closed <laughs> All right, I got that down, and I think I'm gonna use this pretty. Oh, she's pretty. Intrigue is her name, and it looks like she's got some green reflect in her. So these are very smooth, which I don't mind a chunky glitter. Um, eyeshadow actually I actually think seeing texture on the eye is very pretty on some people and dimensional but I know I might not be in the uh, majority and then for the inside I'm going to use ooh these are so pretty there's this shade Probably not this one. It's a little dark. And then, which one do you, I think I'm gonna do the pinky one, Charmer. And then just, I have puppies. I'm sorry, I didn't even think about them barking, but I have two puppies and a cat. And by puppies, I mean full-grown dogs, and I call them my puppy babies. Um, and one of them that you hear barking is <laughs> such a special little guy. Drives me crazy. So that's the lid look. I love that. That's so pretty. I've been, you know getting unearthly palettes buying unearthly palettes for 
a hot minute and this formula this new formula is quite beautiful I usually do my liner now which I've got to wear I like to you know put my liner down and then take the eyeshadow I was using and um, like cover it up so it all matches I'm gonna use my mirror and if you have hooded eyes you know how hard it is if you have hooded eyes it's one thing if you have hooded and even eyes it's even harder to get these to line up let's see good enough I, I'm not a, I don't even try to be like a perfectionist or anything like that I'm just again like this is just my hobby and I'm just having fun you know it's not that deep to me so and then I just take some more of the trickery on and it kind of helps get rid of the imperfections of the eyeliner which I always have quite a bit if y'all want to comment and chat I would love that just what you think and how you feel about some of the products I'm using or tricks that y'all do. So now I'm going to move on to the face and then I'll do, you know, the bottom, my bottom lid then. Take these off. So I've already primed and I actually, since I'm doing a video, kind of wanted to do some extra steps because why not? I got the Half Magic Cheek Fluff in Only Drama. And I have been loving purple blushes. Just think they're so fun. And this one is really dark. So I think this is supposed to be a, yeah, like a powder, cream to powder formula. That's what it feels like. And I thought I could just put some on my cheeks. Like, what do they call it when they put, like, cheeks and contour on under their foundation and stuff? Like, just something. Put a little zhuzh in my cheeks and I have this stippling brush I'm going to try. So, if it's, you know, when you're doing, like, the underpainting, when I do the underpainting stuff, you know, I don't care if it's really pigmented because I'm going to put some foundation over it. I figured I would do some contour. And if y'all can tell, I have a very crooked nose. So, contour is also always a struggle. <laughs> a lot of times when I'm looking at you like this, and see how my nose is looking super crooked. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, that's really pretty. I don't even think I would have to. I was scared it would be too dark for... But I don't even think I would have, I could, I think I could wear this without putting it under the foundation, you know. And I like the stippling brush. It's funny because all the ones I've ever got in the past, I was like, what is this even for? And I got rid of a lot of them because I didn't even know what they were for, but now that I'm actually using it for its intended purpose, it does a good job. <laughs> so, don't get rid of those stippling brushes if you have them and you have some cream products. I might sound like an idiot, but it's because I am. It's fine. Okay. I like that. That's very pretty. And this Half Magic container is like it's purely cardboard and I actually quite like it like if you want to put it in a separate pan 
like a magnetic palette, build your own palette top situation, that would be perfect. So then for contour, brontour, whatever, I have the, the Tarte Sculpt. And I go through phases where a lot of times I don't even wear bronzer. And this part's hard because my nose is so crooked, but I just put a little bit like this. And it is hard to contour a crooked nose. Yeah, I just, I like bronzer, but I feel like if there's one step I skip, it is bronzer. And so for foundation, I have a couple. I got the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. It's not new, but I have seen it for so long. I'm like, I would love to try that. And then I do have this, oops, pretty new, the Skin Silk Makeup Revolution, which I do like it. It's more full coverage, but I'm trying to decide, you know, like how much coverage do I want? I think I'm just going to try the Flower Beauty one. Got a pretty thick consistency than I thought it would. I thought it was more fluidy. So, there might be more coverage than I thought. And I got the shade. Nude L3. And I'm would say I'm a lot fair to lot more light with a neutral undertone. And I'll just put like two pumps on the back of my hand. It's going quite a long way. And I have a spot right here. It's not a break out but it's something that comes and goes with me all the time it's like a I would say it's a like a scar it's like a enlarged pore that never goes away it gets angry from time to time this has a pretty finish Tend to get redness also um, around my nose right here, but yeah, this the skies comes and goes quite frequently, and so yeah, I still have quite a bit left over. I don't even think I needed two pumps. My face is got redness but my neck doesn't so when I'm matched I feel like if it matches my neck then my face looks washed out and it doesn't look natural but if I match it to my face then I have like a line so most of the time I just go with the face and try to blend as best I can and then I, for concealer, I got the, I wasn't going to get it because I didn't want, like, I don't like luminous concealers, but I saw this one actually claims it is a full coverage. So, I got the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, which I, will, I would like to have some illumination, but I also want some coverage. So this is the color L12 Fair. Sometimes I like to put on a ton of concealer. Wow. Drugstore makeup has come so far, you know. I remember in high school, like, when I tried it, I was, like, I, I look even <laughs> worse. <laughs> but this is very nice. The 
and then it would bump out. <laughs> that looks good. I really like the coverage. It's very pretty. Okay. Lunar Beauty. Uh, Lunar Reversal Setting Powder. And I have been using the pink powder. And I use it everywhere. I feel like it matches my face. So, I feel like my... Oops. My foundation kind of is too yellow a lot of times, especially for my neck. So, when I do the pink powder, I feel like it, it balances it out. So, like if you have that problem like I do where your neck and your face don't match and then you feel like you're too yellow, the pink powder kind of helps balance all that out for me. And I cannot do powder without getting it everywhere. My entire shirt will be covered in it. I don't know how anyone does it without getting it all over the place. I don't know if I'm talking loud enough either. So if I'm not, I'll speak up next time if anyone even watches this <laughs> a little bit more. I like to put powder down here too. Because if, if you, I like to wear SPF, but I always feel like whatever skincare I put on my neck peels. Does anyone else have that problem? You know. Okay, sorry about that. My husband came back home from work. I turned the lighting back down because I think it is better. But all I've done is put my setting powder on. And for blush, let's see. I'll just put a little bit more of this Hack Magic on and see how it looks. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. This Hack Magic blush is not as. And I feel like I definitely got one of the more intimidating colors. And it's, it's, you know, very smoothing. I have, you know, large pores right here. So now I'm going to do highlight of the Daydreamer palette. This is um Electrum Cosmetics you know if you like indie you know who Electrum is probably so let's see these are the colors I just thought they would when you see them the different variations I just thought they would look very good with this palette I think I'm going to go in with in a trance, let's see. It looks purple, but that looks green. I think I like Dreamer. That's pretty. I love a little sparkle. I love a lot of sparkle. <laughs> Highlight my crooked nose. <laughs> now I'm going to finish off my bottom lash. Going in and use just kind of wipe this brush off the cotton round. I think for the bottom, I don't know if I want to go in with the same that I did up here. I'm just going to go in with Trickery again. Trickery is like the teal green color. Okay. And then the inner corner. I'm going to go in with this lure. Let's see. I'm going to swatch. That's 
so pretty. It looks a lot like my highlighter. You could probably use it as a highlighter. I love swatching and just looking at the colors. Alright. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to do my brows um, and my mascara. I'll be right back. Actually, first, I'll just do that off camera too. Just do some eyeliner and mascara, do my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All I did was my brows. Um, I used the Morphe brow pencil. I think it's cold brew. Um, yeah, cold brew. And I did my lashes. I don't wear falsies ever. Um, because I'm terrible at putting them on. This, um, when I have a mascara that I'm not crazy about, I use a primer. So, I have the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Primer. And I like it a lot, but it's like $14. And then I've been using, I like this mascara, but I just, I really like Papal Lashes, like... I would probably love falsies, but um, I can't put them on very well. I've been using the Fan Fest with Benefit. I normally use the Huda Beauty one that has the two two different sized wands. I feel like I get a lot of volume from them, but I don't have one of those right now. And I'm trying to use those up. And I usually also like the combo of the Roller Lash and the Bad Gal Bang with Benefit. And then for my waterline, I used the ColourPop, the new um, Multichrome liners. They're so creamy and smooth. I love them. And this is the color Pixie. And I think that's all I did. And I... I've been wanting to do like a glowy setting powder and Ulta had the Jaclyn Hill glowing let's see the luminous powder on sale for eight dollars which if I like it it's kind of sad because she's going out of business but it was eight dollars I was like I'll try it and if I like it at least I know that you know I like that with makeup so I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and try it oh, okay and see if it does give me a kind of a not a glittery glow but just a I wasn't going to go into the T-zone, but I can't really see what it's doing. And actually, that's very lovely. Like, it does have little particles, and I don't think with my lighting you can really tell. But it doesn't emphasize my pores. So, I hope this is going to be discontinued. Maybe I should get a couple more. Yeah, it has, if you can see, a little bit of glimmer to it. But see, here's my pores. Uh, my right side is worse than my left with the pores. But I think they look pretty decent, and it does kind of just give you a healthy, you know, I'm not super matte look. And then for lips, I do, I like that a lot. How come everything you like gets discontinued? Okay. And then for lips, I got the Half Magic gloss. I thought it was really pretty beautiful. So, I was going to pair it with this kind of purpley based looking brown lip liner. So, I got it sharpened. And I am not 
the best. I would say I have a very strong weakness in lips. Like, even just applying and matching it to my eye uh, shadow. Not the best at it. But this has been a go to color for a while. See, in reality, I thought this was going to be just a little bit more purple. But it's leaning more pink. Let me see. Here we are. We got a Gerard Cosmetics Underground. I love this color. I don't wear it a lot, but it still looks... And it's like a gray, gray purple. This is gloss is very beautiful. Has a bunch of pretty sparkles that looks like it would, you know, match. It's not gritty. And you can still see the sparkles really nicely. And I've been sitting here for a good long hot minute and my eyeshadow has started creasing a little bit on this one but not on my right eye which you know that's nothing on the product. That is a problem I've been struggling with and been trying to rectify for a hot minute. And, you know, I used a primer that I don't normally use. And I think I remember when I put this on, the Glimmer Grasp was just a little bit too wet than what I normally apply with I have better luck with but other than that let me see see it clean this side hasn't started creasing and this cleaned up nicely so this is the final look I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up I am losing a lot <laughs> but um thank you if you watch this video Thank you so much. Just thank you for being here. Um, if you enjoyed yourself, you know, stick around. I'm going to try to put out more videos. I'm not, you know, I don't really have a game plan as of how much I'm going to upload or I still have to figure out the editing. But anyways, I'm not trying to babble on and on. But thank you for, for sticking around. I'm sorry if my voice is annoying or... I keep looking into the camera and not, you know, the eye lens. I'm going to, you know, this is just trial and error. And, you know, if you could leave some kind of suggestions, I will definitely take feedback. Um, but other than that, I'm not going, this is how I wear my hair most of the time. So, <laughs> you know, there's not going to be a lot of hair fixing on here. But thank you for watching this video, um, and I hope I get to see you in another one shortly, and have a wonderful day.